All right, day one of training Ona and Honey. Gonna start off with some leash manners, see what they know. We got Macy starting with Ona, and I'm gonna start with Honey. Charlie is our production crew. Here we go. Hey, the camera doesn't go on me, okay? Camera, sorry. Camera's about to see her lady in the camera. Hey, we'll just start in their driveway. Hey, just some engagement. So we're using treats to make it fun. They're like, why aren't we going on a walk yet? And we're just saying, hey, create some engagement, focus on me, pay attention to the person behind the leash. When I go, you go. Hey, when I stop, you stop. And we create that with our first uh, real dog distraction. You know, Macy hang back here. I'm gonna do a back and forth and we're just gonna practice. First we're gonna observe reactivity and see where we're at. So I put the dog on the outside, dog on the inside, you can follow me, Carol. See if I can lure. Honey. See if food's more powerful. Honey, sit. Yes. Pressure educates. Release. Motivates. Okay, so the pressure educates, say pressure of the line. Okay. The release, the minute she sits, yes, educates her that hey, pressure goes away, you. Good one, good teamwork. Because on moments like that, Charlie, you're just going to have to bring your hand down and have two hands on the line. Okay? Understand? Okay, we're going to cross up and go around. Just wait. So same thing here, you put a hand as you cross, Charlie. Give a little pressure release. Pressure release. As much as possible, you want to keep a steady hand. We'll maybe buy you a thing that they can I'm trying, I'm trying to like. Yeah, and you gotta not move the screen around so much. Focus on the dogs, focus on me. Sorry guys, sorry to our production team's first round. <laughs> we'll get it going here. All right, so right now we're gonna do free dog. They can go up front, they can explore, go to the end of my arm. Can we see that one, Mace? I like them on their own line. Let's start a new video. An action. Okay. So, the reason I like them on two lines, if we're to get rushed by an off leash dog, if I were to have an accident, or then they get tangled up, or um, God forbid have a little fight, I could separate, be the calm body in between. Whoever's acting up the most gets put on my strong side, and we power walk through. And this is, we're getting there. This is kind of what the walk I want to look like. Walking with me, going my pace when I stop. Hey, hey, hey. Or hold. They stop. Let's go. When I go, they go. I'll give you the freedom. We had to earn it a little bit. So now, go front. They can still go in front, explore, check things out. But it needs to be more uh, like, uh, remind me her name? Ona. Ona. Ona is. Ona. Hey, hey. Owner responds very well. The pressure, let's go to the right. You can even say things like right or side, hold, wait. Let's go. You can teach them to maneuver around cars when they see a car. They actually go to the side and do a hold themselves, wait for it to go by, and then you keep going. See that load up. Heel or let's go. They're starting to click into it after we walk a little bit. I'm just giving a little taps back. They can walk both on the same side once they slow down. I kind of give them the freedom to go front, explore. Every now and then I stop. Honey, Ona, come. called monkey see monkey do you motivate and reward the one that uh, does the behavior first like sit or uh, stay and the other wants to follow quicker Ona really clicking in with the walk walking really nice at my side doing good at going back to the heel and then Ona go front explore checking things out 
Honey is our powerhouse and doesn't quite want to yield to the tools. It wants to still be ahead, but we're getting there. So just a little bit of heel and the heel or the loose leash walk will help with the reactivity and her dog to dog and all that. Cause we'll just have a little more control of Honey and say, hey, I'll tell you when you can say hi. I'll tell you when you can explore, but the rest you just knock it off and you focus on me. Um, that's a big part of just the leadership and the training and allow her to have actually more freedom and more exploring because she won't be stuck uh, whilst micromanaging at her side. We kind of trust her uh, that we have a good recall from her. So, hold. Okay, go front. So now I let her go front, explore, and I can maneuver them a little bit better with the two lines. I'm doing a little bit of leaning back, leaning back. We're still going to be a little bit like sled dogs. We come around a blind corner like this. Perfect time to come, heel, tighten up on our lines. I call it half line. I just do a finger hold like that. Heel, across the street. Safety. Oh, you little powerhouse honey. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on, pretty girl. And we get tasked, now free. Now they can go out in front, explore, sniff. This is feeling better. I like this knot in the line too, because then I can catch and hold the knot there. It also tells me where the end of my line's coming. Now honey's starting to slow down a little bit. And this is what I like to see, just little taps, little pop on the line or, or tap on the line. If you pull on the line, this is an important concept. So we'll start a new video for this one. All right, we're ending our walk. We had a really good first trading walk here. Gonna walk by our distractor dogs up our road here. <laughs> Honey, um, a little focused on the dogs and the uh, uh, chickens over there. So we get her attention and her focus, I call it, back to us. <laughs> hey, how do we do that? Praise, food. <laughs> good. I also start doing this. Honey, instead of getting Honey, I get her focused on her buddy, a little healthy competition. Hi. Oh, yeah, sit. Good. And my cheeks are real small. I just break them up into little pieces just to motivate her. It's food, touch, praise, and then it'll be pressure. But right now, creating a little bit of a connection and muscle memory. Hey, honey. Yes, so eyes up here, focus here. You wanna say heel or let's go, or we're gonna walk past the distractor dogs. Remember, dogs on the outside, humans on the inside. So what does that mean? That means I tighten up on my lead, heel, honey, and uh, Una on the outside, I'm on the inside, body blocking the other dogs, saying don't worry about that, focus on me. Ona does, or doesn't want anything to do with it, being a good girl back there. Honey, doing good ignoring. Hey, sit. So remember, pressure up motivates. Honey, sit. 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 A little stubborn there, had a little battle. Sit. Good. But I'm just saying, sit, wait, in the presence of the barky dog, heel, and let's go. So I was doing this pressure up. I finally had to touch her butt down because she was just being a little bullheaded. But um, what I'm doing there, wait, is saying, my um, I lead. My uh, word is we stop, we go, and then it's freedom. Hey, go front, explore. And definitely a little warmer that's helping us and then now this is, this is nice little small line and this is now time that you know macy can walk Ona here and so watch macy with ona we'll start another video with that all right so this is a good time to hand off to macy macy you can walk ona now and you can tell her free and go ahead and follow she knows like my house is right here so she's pulling plant your feet Come. Come on, Anna. Anna, come. Come on, Anna. 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 Come on, Anna.